Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Heavy Shot, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. are gonna fly today that's for sure <laughs> the geese are gonna fly we're gonna the ducks get a, are gonna fly the 18 man limit yeah calling it by are there actually 18 people 9 30 huh 9 30 i'm saying limit up by 9 8 47 i'm saying 8 47 <laughs> Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of Larry Smith Outdoors. Boy, I'll tell you what, look at the group of people we have out here today. Hey, we've got the good guys from Back 40 Sports out here. And you know, Cameron, you're pretty much in charge of this whole thing, right? Uh, they, they say I am. They right? Say I am. You're the guy that if something goes wrong, they lean on, yeah. right? I'm always yeah, I'm always good. the one to blame. Always, so if we don't shoot birds me. today, it's going to be my it's fault. Gonna be your it's going to be well, my it's, fault. It's, not, it's always nice to see a young guy taking responsibility. You know, we have a couple <laughs> millennials that work for us. One of them doesn't take any responsibility, but that's besides the point. Hey, Cameron, tell us really what you're, you're all about and what you guys, the passion that you guys have and why you started back 40 Sports. Yeah, sure. We, uh, me and a couple of buddies, we were always out hunting. We were always having a good time out in the field. And we were always watching Larry's show every week. And it kind of inspired us to start um, some social media pages where we're filming ourselves hunting and fishing with photos and then along with that we started a podcast where we can interview cool people like our boy right here shotgun, shotgun Schaefer, Schaefer. Right. he's been on the podcast back 40 sports podcast yeah. yeah you know there's a lot of good shows out there it's not just our shows sure. that inspires people but that's really what it's all about it's it's trying to get that next generation involved in the outdoors because you know the healthy environment that it creates so you know that's when you say that's the biggest yeah, thing uh, no doubt uh and that's when, when we said we got inspired by larry larry's always taken out the youth and we we enjoy that and that's probably what led us onto your show the most and found it the most appealing is is that aspect of things and that's right. what we try to do we try to bring out new uh whether it's kids or new hunters into the outdoors and take them out have a good time and then We'll post pictures of them, and they, they enjoy it. They, there's a memory there forever. Hey, and if somebody wants to get on your podcast, how do they do it? Uh, sure, yeah. So you can either message us on uh, our Facebook page, at Back40 Sports, or on our Instagram page, Back40 Sports, or we got a website, Back40 Sports. So if we're always looking for fun interviews, guides, uh, hunting and fishing personalities, stuff like that. Uh, we're more than welcome to have you on. Well, that's awesome. Hey, single, you know, single? Single? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got one more thing to say. Who is the best shot of everybody oh, here at Back 40 Sports? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. What's I've, my name? What's my name? Shotgun. I'm Shotgun. Gonna... <laughs> I've I've probably only taken one shot this year. I'm usually running the camera, so I'm uh, usually in the in the background. So it can't be me. That's why the camera. That's why the camera fell out of the boat. Yeah. Right. Exactly. yeah. yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. It's almost shooting time. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens today here with the Back 40 Sports guys. Oh, and where are we anyways? We're in Port Washington, Wisconsin. We're gonna shoot some birds. Oh, we're I can probably say that. What kind, of, what kind of birds, right? Some, some geese. Some geese. Yeah. We gotta hurry up here. The ducks are coming. Probably coming in real quickly here. Yeah. So. All right, everybody, get, take their position. Up. We gotta get stay tuned. Fight. Let's see what happens yeah. next. Hey, I'll tell you what, shotgun. We've got about 10 minutes before it opens here. Let's get these lucky ducks uh, in here and get them set up. You know what? Tell everybody at home why they call this a lucky duck, and it's not just lucky. Well, now they have. It's styrofoam in the wings, so if you lose them in the water, which everybody does, it hunts waterfall, and their tail, I can feel there's uh, floating in their tail, so if they flip over to come up here, poles, they're going to float in water. They're completely waterproof. Completely waterproof. And what I like about them, the lithium battery it lasts longer instead of the alkaline. You got the one plug, like my first lucky ducks I have, they're double prods. The old bag. style ones. Yeah. Yes, so now that's nice. So closed. And what we got now is we got a long stick and a shorter stick. Okay. What I like doing What's the on, reason for that? 
when the birds come in, they don't come in flat, they come in like this. So you set the longer stick up like this and then you put the closer one closer to your decoy. So that okay. way it's like they're dropping in. Makes so sense. When I'm in water, I'll have a 10 footer, eight footer, a six footer and a two footer. So when the ducks see them, they're like, oh, okay, this is the pattern we want to go in. So we have some on that side, we got some on this side. We got our decoy set up in the water here in the middle. So we're going to have them come in. We got a stiff east wind. They're going to use the decoys. We got a V and come right between our lucky ducks. So. Absolutely awesome. Hey, I just heard uh, one of the guys here from Back 40 Sports say, Schaefer, shut up and let's hunt. Let's get <laughs> let's these get things set up. <laughs> Loading up the heavy shot. Let the geese and the ducks start flying, you guys. Hey, don't I look good in my new Larry Smith Outdoors apparel? You can look good too. All you have to do is go to LarrySmithOutdoors.com and check out our brand new apparel page. Get your Larry Smith Outdoors apparel today at LarrySmithOutdoors.com. <laughs> that was awesome. What a great morning and a great way to start the day off. You know, we've got the back 40 boys here. And, you know, I did not think this was going to work today with having 17 guys out here and one gal, of course, the freaking nature, Abigail. Don't forget but me. this is an awesome way to start the day off. You know, we've got a lot of things planned for today, but, uh, you know, let's see what happens. It's going to be a great day. Woo! Nice. <laughs> that was absolutely awesome. You know, I don't think that goose had much of a chance with all of us in Nice. Oh, the other one. Oh, I love it. Kill him! Woo! All right. Those ones did it perfect. Nice calling, yeah. really Very, cool. that calling is just superb. <laughs> Ha 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 
personally heard and boy I'll, the results of it has been fantastic today i'm sure you got a good tip for everybody out there when it comes to calling geese yeah well you can kind of look at the birds and uh, today we're getting a lot of migrators we have a, a real strong north wind and those birds coming from the north um you know and they they're flying over this field you just get on them real hard with the call and then the migrators are the birds that have been up higher than the, the, the yep. rest of them and there are a lot of times and a lot of the guys here you can ask they're the birds that most people won't even try to call at right they're so far up there i can't believe that you're calling these birds down yep yeah and we got so many guys that even if you don't know how to blow a call and you can't blow well just making noise and as long as you've got everyone making noise and you stay on them until their feet darn near hit the ground and you can kill them and a lot of the local geese if you watch when they're coming over the trees, they're nice and low. It looks like they're coming to the field. If you're on them too hot with the call, you'll blow them out. That's so a great tip. Real mellow with them. The awesome, awesome tip, Dave. I appreciate that. Yeah. And we also appreciate our good friends up at Mike's Country Meat, Sayer and Tiger. Hey, 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 over here. I just ran a half mile in waders. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a girlfriend. He has a I know. It's a damn shame. It's my choice, actually. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, everybody, welcome to the studio. Who else? Shotgun Schaefer. You know, Schaefer, I am so unbelievably sick and tired of everybody <laughs> I emailing know, I us know. about this Philly steak recipe. And we crushed the geese oh today. Oh, my I gosh. Know. And we crushed the geese. So you could be making Philly steaks for everybody at the Packer game yep. for the next three years. We got so many geese. Yep. Those back 40 guys really wanted this recipe because they were up at the Midwest Assure Supply. And it was 125 sandwiches and 50. I mean, they went like crazy. Randy couldn't believe it. We cleaned out the whole parking lot everybody came over to have this sandwich they couldn't believe it so the word got out how uh, good they were I, so what i did was i put the goose the full breast in the slow cooker i there's a four breasts in there fill it up with water and then you throw four to five tablespoons of white vinegar on top the white vinegar breaks it down so then afterwards i drain it out this is how dry it is i mean you can't eat it right now that is dry so now i got a really hot beef broth i don't care what you use any kind dump it in there hear that sizzle now it's just gonna go right in that meat instantly. That's gonna put all your juice back in it. That meat's gonna absorb all that juice. This is where, I mean, this meat's been cooked, frozen, now it's back out again. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, you could do it. That's what I do at home. I make, as soon as I kill my geese. Holy geese. Yeah, numerous. Well, you saw the Not episode, cats. you were there. There's no cats in there. <laughs> no, no. Look at all the liquids gone now. So then now I've made my peppers and onions. Woo! I love peppers. Mix and them onions. in there too. This Swiss cheese, or uh, mozzarella cheese, marinated, I bought it at the store. Woo. It's really fresh. And then I threw some Munster. The Munster is the softest, best cheese for this. I mean, you could use Swiss, but you know, we use this Munster up at Midwest for Shrew's Fly, and it went over like hotcakes. This is the only goose I've ever had that doesn't taste like goose. Yeah, I, sure. there's nothing to it, it's so easy. Even a camera guy can make this recipe. Not our camera <laughs> Not guy. Not your camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, grab your bun, it's done. No, these oh, ones right here. Oh. Quit goofing around. Wow, I'm like, what do you mean goofing around? You told me to grab my bun. <laughs> Cheers, Smith. Right. That's a nice brioche bun. That looks like a good bun. That's a good that's bun. That's enough. Hold it, man. Hold oh. it. Hold it. That's enough. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that's that on. That's what, that's what the, me. <laughs> he just said he didn't want any more. Now he wants more. Hey, and speaking of Midwest Supply, Supply, make sure if you're looking for shells, you definitely want to go there. I don't think anybody can beat their price on shells, and definitely, we don't just say this because they're our sponsor, heavy shot for sure. They sure knocked them down oh, this episode. Whoa. I wouldn't shoot anything but heavy yeah. shot. So folks, Philly, oh. Goose, mm. I mean, it's easier than heck. Like I say, I made this prior, take it along, we make this on the lake, everywhere. It's awesome. Thanks for joining us in the studio this week. Until next week, just remember it's a great night to be alive. <laughs>
That was absolutely amazing, Shotgun. So our decoy spread today, we ran a big spread, 150 decoys. And we knew we were going to have some local birds and some migrators. So what we did is we ran just a real natural spread. We ran it real long like we talked about in the beginning, not real deep. And uh, mixed a lot of sleeper shells in on the front end. And these birds were crawling over the back and trying to get to these, these lead birds with a little bit of a crosswind we had. So a lot of guys like running a W or a U or an L. And uh, I typically don't run a spread like that just because geese naturally don't do that in the field. Never do you see a goose in the shape of of any letter. So our, if you look throughout our spread here, it's real natural with pods of birds in certain places and there's little openings. So we weren't really wanting these giant wads of geese to break off and land. We know we, that wasn't gonna happen, but what we did is we gave enough pockets right in the kill hole to where we knew you know, five, 10, 12 birds would, would finish perfectly for us. Hey, Shotgun, I'll tell you what, what an incredible morning. And I thank everybody here for inviting us out here. It, it just is, I don't, can't remember the last time I ever had a shoot that was this good. And most time, if I have a shoot and it's good, I'm typically in North Dakota, but we are in Wisconsin here by Port Washington. And you guys, the calling was, I was mesmerized. I really was. That was absolutely, you know, it's kind of an inspiring thing that I haven't done a lot of calling in the last 10 years. I think I'm going to go and buy a couple calls <laughs> and not saying I'm going to be any kind of competition to you guys, but it is inspirational when you see you guys pulling these birds down from half a mile up and these birds come down and started working the, the decoys. You know, that is the, the one of the funnest parts about hunting to be able to do things like that, you know. And again, Schaefer, you know, the only thing that I would say for today that I, I wish we had, where was the food today? You're, that's the one thing. We got all these guys here hungry, starving to death. You forgot to bring the food. I, I dropped the ball today, but we got jewelry. That's the main thing. We got jewelry today. And I got news for you. I think those birds are safe. If you start calling the way we shoot, <laughs> these birds, we are a lot of birds living these days. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Hey, make sure everybody checks out the uh, Back 40 Sports Facebook and Instagram page. Yes. Got to and it before I did. Back40sports.com and Back 40 Sports Podcast. <laughs> they Back 40 definitely stands for a lot of the things that we believe in. No doubt about that. You want to check these guys out. They're as good as they get. And, you know, make sure everybody checks out all of our social media stuff, too. And like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Hey Schaefer, where did you come up with the cupcakes? Let me guess. Jen? Jen and I, yeah. She sent them over today just for you and I to have them. I feel kind of one. bad because we've got the back 40 boys and now there's not enough to go around. It's a good thing I got the Mike's Country Meats too. Yeah, but guess what? They're way down there. We're over here. Right. They don't even know yeah. what we're eating. Well, if they find out, <laughs> we're in deep trouble. The wind is out of the east. They can't smell us neither. <laughs> mm.